I wonder what cream I should make next. I'm gonna call the cream father. What's, what's up, Greg? Getting ready for my fourth video of the day. Jesus Christ. Well, all right, I know you're a busy man, so we'll get straight to the point then. Yeah. I want to come up with a new cream, but I'm not sure which one I want to make. So I was going to see what is like your favorite ice cream or like growing up, what was your favorite ice cream? For, like for sure, Nesco or Nesco, the chocolate chip cookie dough, cookie dough is always good. I eat like sometimes two full containers of the two two liter things back to back. Well, I just made the cookie dough, but I know that Dairy Queen came out with a chocolate chip cookie Blizzard. So what if we did like that instead? Oh, that's like ridiculous. Like I don't even buy Blizzards because they're just too good, too many calories. I could eat like three and just be like, I want all of it. But it's just too much. Yeah, if I could have a Blizzard that had less calories, I'd be like living. So if I could come up with one, would you try it out? Yeah, for sure. I think we should play some B-roll for the... Oh, you know they love the B-roll. People love that stuff. Then we'll get into the B-roll for the fellow creamers. Yeah, the creamers and fellow circles, they need it. It has been way too long since we have creamed together. So I had to make this a very special cream. Dairy Queen released a Nestle Toll House Cookie Blizzard and I'm about to make a very bold statement. Mine is better than theirs. Guaranteed. My name is Nick. I have my master's in exercise physiology and I make anabolic recipes and do full days of eating and the like. So if you're into recipes and tips for getting lean, then like this video and subscribe to the channel. By the end of this video, you just may start calling me the cream daddy. So let's get into it. First thing is first, and you know I always try to get as close as I can to the real thing. And for a Nestle Toll House cookie blizzard, I'm going to use Nestle Toll House cookie dough to make cookies. Now, I've already done this, but all you need to do is put these in the oven for the set amount of time, and then chop them up into smaller chunks and put them in the freezer. If you are in a pinch or don't wanna make the cookies from scratch, you can get a little bag of Chips Ahoy or a little bag of Famous Amos, chop them up the same way and put them in the freezer and we will use them when we need to. However, I will say it is not the same flavor town that you will get with a real baked cookie but you will get about 8.5 or 9 out of 10 the real thing we will start with our milk whatever milk you want i have fat free high protein milk and 65 grams 65 grams of greek yogurt 4.2 grams of vanilla extract 2 grams of salt whatever kind of salt you want lastly before the ice we will add 18 grams of a sugar free or fat free cool whip it's the same amount of calories whatever one that you'd like for this blizzard we will use 420 grams of ice Level out the playing field, and we are going to blend this up for one minute. Now, don't ask me why I haven't thought of this before, and some people have told me, but I still never did it. I'm going to just take the flavor stick out and put it in there. This makes it so much easier to mix, and I have no idea why. I haven't done that before, but with this blizzard, it's crucial that we do stuff as fast as possible to make sure we get the right consistency. So make sure you take it out. Then we just push it back in, no problem, and we're gonna add our dry ingredients. It is crucial that we add these dry ingredients in this order. Don't ask me why, it's just through testing and testing and testing. Seven grams of vanilla pudding mix sugar free then a gram and a half of xanthan gum and a gram and a half of guar gum and we are finally introducing pe science into the protein ice cream realm for exercise for cheat meals protein recipes code e4cm for 15 percent off 
It took me a while to figure out how I can really use this and have it be a cream consistency still. If you put too much in, it gets very pudding-like. So I'm finding that you can only put about a scoop in or else it gets too pudding-like. And then if you put too little in, you get these weird like holes and stuff. So this is gonna be a scoop of the vanilla PE Science Select. You can still use the whey, but you're gonna have a thinner consistency, more of like a milkshake. So I do recommend for this blizzard, you use a whey casein blend if you have it. Our last ingredient is Swerve, and I'm gonna put 16 grams in here, and we are good to go. That is it. Note, before we mix this again, we will need the anabolic cookie dough for this that I made about six months ago. It is by far my highest viewed and highest liked recipe, and it only takes 15 minutes to come together, and it, it makes you seven shakes once you make it. So I promise you, it is well worth it. But but we're gonna mix this up for one minute here and I will see you back then. Okay, bye. We're gonna do the same thing that we did with the first one. We're gonna take this flavor stick out and I'm gonna put it right into here. It really doesn't make any extra mess. And I'm going to mix this around real quick. This is where time is money. And we gotta hurry up and scrape everything off of the sides. I like to call this a window wiper method. I bring everything up and then I scrape it off like cleaning windows. And I mean, guys, look at this. Beautiful consistency. And again, I'm gonna wipe off the stuff on the bottom here and just push it back in. And then I clean off the windows one more time. It took me 30 attempts to get this right. So trust me when I say this time, instead of one minute, we are doing 45 seconds for this last blend. And I will see you back. Get your cold ingredients out from the fridge and the freezer now, and we will add them to the mix as soon as this is done blending. <sighs> All right, so what I have here is an old knife that I don't care about if it loses its like sharpness or whatever. I go in the corner and see how this is a little bit thicker. What I'm gonna do is push the ice cream out of the way so there's a good tunnel that I can put my mix-ins in. I'm going to drop this all the way down, push that down. I'm going to put in some of my cookie dough, not all of it, and then we are going to put the rest of the cookies on top of that, and then the rest of our cookie dough on top of that. Now this isn't a perfect science, it might be a little bit messy to do this, but it's super quick, super easy. And the reason I do this is now we have a tunnel where it's all spread throughout the whole thing. And the last thing I do, cover this up with some cream, and I'm gonna do 15 pulses here. We're not gonna turn it on high like we usually do. 15 pulses. Just like that. That is all we need here, and this is spread throughout. Look at this. We have a cream consistency. You guys have no idea. This took literally 30 attempts to perfect. I had some help from my boy, Zanny. He was doing test recipes with me, seeing if we were getting the same consistency. Thank you, Zanny, for helping me out with that. I am very, very happy with the final product. Very happy. All right, let's get our pour. I mean, come on. Come on. And literally, as I'm going, I'm, I'm seeing chunks of cookie. Still more in here. We are fully topped off. Dairy Queen, what's up? You wanna hire me or what? You just get real chunks of cookie, huge chunks. And even though they're frozen, you could still taste that baked golden brown goodness from the oven bake. I'm truly gonna miss making this, but don't trust just what I say. Let's see what the cream father, Greg Doucette, has to say himself. All right, about to try exercise for cheats, cheat meals, Nick's. Cookie blizzard. It's gonna be a blizzard with cookies. So let's see what I think. It's good stuff. Mm. You can taste the cookiness in it. There's little cookie chunks and whatnot in here. It's really good. I'm digging that. 
I would say most people probably only need, I mean, look how big this thing is. Most people only need half of this. Two thumbs up for Nick. I'm sure he'll show you how to make it in his video. All right, we gotta go over the macros. In the entire thing, we have 500 calories on the dot, five cups, 40 ounces, 14 protein, 69 carb, 53 net carb, and 46 protein. The Dairy Queen for the largest size, which is 21 ounces, is 970 calories, 34 fat, 146 carb, 23 protein. So we have half the calories, double the protein, double the volume. And I will tell you right now, go to Dairy Queen, get a blizzard, make this one, have them side by side, and I can guarantee to you that this one is better. Why? How do I know? Because I tried it myself and my girlfriend, the queen queen herself, said the same as well. And she's harsh as sh on any anabolic recipe. If you end up doing a YouTube review on this, please tag me on my Instagram and let me know so I can share it with everyone else and I can watch it myself. Code E4CM if you wanna have one of the best workouts of your life by taking Gorilla Mode, which I'm absolutely stoked to go to the gym today, again, to get a crazy ass pump, and E4CM for 15% off your PE Science order. And you know we are coming with more recipes and more reviews. But until next time, I will see you in that next one. Do. See